Hey everyone, it's T Revizzle right here with a special top 10 list. It is with great pleasure that I announce that True Review has finally reached 100 videos uploaded! <laughs> back in June of 2015. But since then, I'm pleased to announce that we've now reached the 200 video milestone, so here is a special top 10 list on the facts about True of You that you might not have known about. Now, some of these I've never talked about before, while some are going to be bloody obvious, but you'd be surprised how often these facts get misinterpreted. So in no particular order, let's get started with number 10. I have this accent because I'm British. I thought I'd put this in at number 10 because this is probably the most obvious one, but you'd be surprised how many people think that this accent makes me either Australian or some kind of European. Nope, in the words of Psycho from Crisis Warhead, I'm British, you muppet. But for those of you who aren't familiar with English accents, I'll let you have this one for free. I come from the south of England. Like with many countries, England has regional accents, and mine is most likely described as a southern, cosmopolitan, or non-regional accent. So I sound like a posh twat, but it means that people who meet me for the first time find it hard to figure out which parts of the south I'm from. I keep that part to myself. This is a hobby, not a full-time job. Another fact that many of you probably knew, but this isn't a full-time job for me. In fact, I have a full-time job outside of this, with me working on videos whenever I get off of work. This channel was started up because I thought it'd be fun to make videos, but also because I wanted to talk to people about games, but not that many people in my everyday life actually play games. That was the reason I started doing this, and it's still kind of true even now. Though I've gotten into a video making routine, it's still something I find fun to do, and gives me the chance to hear opinions about these games that I'd never get in real life. It's just me. This one is also blatantly obvious, and this is the last obvious one, I promise, but I've noticed people refer to me as the True Review team before. What team? It's just me here! I don't have a guy who writes this content, or someone who does all of the editing. It's just me. Aside from the two parody series where I gathered a team of actors together, there has only ever been me here. There's no I in team, therefore it's not a team. True Review is both me and the channel and the sound guy. There's not really a sound guy. Lane Goodman. Seven. Everything I do is scripted. I know that some people don't like scripted videos, but I have to, and there's a very good reason for that, and that's because my improv is shit. If I were to improvise each segment, it'd be filled with so many errs and ums that it'd sound really bad and ill-thought-out. I script my stuff out so I've got time to think about what I want to say and how to say it. It's still my own words and ideas, just without the unnecessary pauses, and it's easier for me to just read straight off of a script that I've already put thought into, than trying to come up with something right there and then. Look, even this part is scripted. I'm not even joking. I am literally reading this straight off of a Word document. Well, I'm not anymore because there aren't any more words to this section. And I think I've kind of ruined this part, haven't I? Take me down, I don't censor words to follow guidelines. Though that is how that started. When I first started making videos, I'll be honest, I wasn't too sure of YouTube's guidelines, so I thought I'd play it safe by censoring out the worst of it. But then I realised that it doesn't matter. However, by this point, it had kind of become my thing. In truth, I personally find that swearing sounds funnier when it's censored out. Like it's got more of a punch, rather than just saying those words right out. So basically, I don't censor them out to keep things PG. I do it for comedic value, for fuck's sake. To this day, I cannot remember why I started making top 10 videos. Yep, absolutely true. Though I remember that I originally made one as kind of like an oddity, I ended up really liking it and decided to go from there. However, I still cannot remember why it was that I made that first one in the process. I'll go into it in a little more detail later in this video, as this kind of ties into another entry, but for the life of me, I cannot remember what it was that made me want to try out making top 10 videos. But look how it's stuck. Well, 
My neighbours think I'm weird because they can hear me when I record my voice. Since starting out this channel, I've moved out of my parents' house and now own my own property, and while it's a nice house, the sound insulation is pretty poor to the point where my neighbours can hear me recording. In fact, I've gotten some strange looks from them from time to time. Mainly because they can hear me yelling at who they think is someone in the house, even though there's no one there. Or they think that that's what drove my last housemate out, but it's actually me recording the audio for another video. I don't mind in all honesty, they're mongs anyway. I actually made a few videos before launching this channel. In fact, I still have them on my hard drive to this day. This channel unofficially started out in the autumn of 2010, and I originally wanted to make a channel that reviewed games, hence the name True Review, and I ended up making three review videos on Half-Life 2, Portal, and The Witcher. I tried experimenting with different things, including FaceTime, but I ended up scrapping some of this. I felt that FaceTime didn't really add anything important to those videos when I could just mention it via audio only, and it took less takes to record. Also, the lighting and sound was an issue. Yeah, there was just too many problems for not enough payoff. Also, this is where the top 10 part comes in. I was debating at the time whether to upload those videos when the following happened. I was deciding if I should start the channel out with those videos, then blank, then I started working on top 10 videos. Like I said before, I can't remember why I did that, but I ended up making several changes to this new video and applying everything that I'd learned up until then. What we got was the top 10 characters that I didn't care for video, which happened to be the first video I ever uploaded. I ended up liking the outcome of it, and ever since then, I just made top 10s. Ironically, I would end up going back to reviews with my rant series, which, with the exception of FaceTime, is very similar to how my original videos were. I won't be uploading those three videos though, because they're shit. And I mean really shit. It's just I don't have the heart to throw them away. Making a video consists of four elements that I complete over several days. Those four elements are script work, audio recording, video recording, and video editing. My schedule works out like this. Day one, I finish my shift in the evening. I then have four hours before going to bed. In that time, I have to come up with the topic for the next video and have written the entire script. Days two and three are also work days, so I don't do anything then. Day four, record as much video footage as possible before going back to work. Day 5, finish work completely destroyed, so no video stuff happens then. Day 6, record the audio for the next video with a towel over my head that makes me look like a twat, as well as the rest of the video footage that I need, or if I need to speed run through a game to a certain point that I need recorded, then that happens on day 6 as well. Day 7, pretty much f all unless there's any more footage needed recording. Yeah, day 7 is my official day off. Day 8, I do the video editing, thumbnail, rendering, and uploading. And once day 8 is over, we return to the beginning of the week once more, and it all happens again. People in my normal life don't know about this channel. With the exception of, I think, one person, no one knows the full details about this channel. Some of my workmates know that I have a channel, but don't know its name so they can't look it up, though some think that I do blogs for some reason. My family knows about it, including the times I've worked with other companies as well as the parody series, but again, I haven't told them the name of this channel. However, this is only a small percentage of the people I know. I have many close friends that don't even know that I'm active on YouTube. Now, whilst I'm not ashamed of all of this, it's something I don't really talk about. I don't talk about it at work because if my employer found out, then I'd get sacked for being associated with me since I say naughty words and bad things about the British Conservative Party. And I don't talk about it much with my family because I don't want my personal life and my online persona from clashing. And I don't talk to my mates about it because they're not into video games and would think I'm weird. Unless I'm talking about the Metal Gear Solid series or Total War, in which case I'm in there. But I'm happy with it being this way. In the same way I don't really talk about myself personally on this channel, I don't talk about this channel in real life. I want to make it clear that I'm happy with both, but I'm also happy with both being kept separate. And that's all there is to say for this video. And we're done, but I hope that you enjoyed learning a little bit about me and what happens behind the scenes. But if you don't talk about video games unless it's Metal Gear Solid or Total War in order to get in there, then like this video and subscribe as always. 
Don't forget that I'm on Twitter under the name True of You to get all of the latest news and updates, and I'm also on Patreon if you'd like to support this channel further. Uh, see ya!